position. Kicking is solitary. And kickers are separate. But for Anthony Storego, kicking is connection. To the world around him. And to the team behind him. Kicking is different. It's the one thing that's the same over and over. Perfect for his quote-unquote disability. Anthony is autistic. These things help make it our house. 18 years old, academically he functions at the level of a 10-year-old in his classes at Brick High School in New Jersey. Five, thirty, seven, Developmentally delayed, social interaction can be challenging or overwhelming. All right, you ready? Hold on here, Ant. There's always been one place Anthony's thrived. At Rutgers football games. He's got to be their biggest fan. He's always up and yelling and telling everybody else in the section to get up. We've become the Twizzler people because at, when they score, the kids all throw Twizzlers. Favorite Rutgers game of all time. What was it? Louisville when Edo kicks the winning field goal. Edo puts his leg into it, and the judge has knocked it through the upright, and they are on the precipice of the biggest win in Rutgers school history. We had taped it at home. He watched that kick, and then him pointing the camera over and over and over again. This really struck him, and after that, he said to his dad, I want to be a kicker. And I'm like, okay, buddy. Um, hey, you do know that you don't like contact. Um, this, well, okay. Kicking is about ritual and routine. That kind of repetition helps Anthony manage his life off the field and suits the patterns of his mind on it. What do you like about kicking, Anthony? Making field goals. How far can you kick the ball? 45. 45 yards? That is, that's my dad. I like, I keep 45 in practice. I mean, if maybe... Maybe some from 50. After playing football for the last six years, by mid-season, Anthony was Brick's varsity kicker. In late October, his team faced state power Tom's River North. The game came down to the final minute, tied 21 apiece, with Brick inside the 10-yard line. Coaches called on Anthony to kick the game-winning field goal. I'm thinking, this is it. This is his moment. The moment that every kid, much less my kid, my kid who probably shouldn't even be on a football field, is now has the chance to have a moment that he'll remember for the rest of his life. What did you do by kicking that field goal? I was my team, and I was my family. How did you help your family by making that kick? Make them happy for me. That kick is a kick of hope. We did it. Buddy, we did it. We we did we did the impossible. That's what I can tell you. The kick proved to him that he could be an important and integral part of something. A meaningful part of something. 
This month at Rutgers Stadium, Anthony was a guest of his favorite team. Being on our field today, this would probably be a little bit more fitting for you. Proof of a kick. We got it. That connected with a game, with a team, with the world. That is my boy out there. And I'm very, very proud. I am so proud of everything he's become in, in every way. Anthony's parents, Ray and Rayleigh, who adopted him when he was three years old, are exploring the possibility of petition petitioning the state of New Jersey to see if Anthony can't get an extra season of eligibility so that he can continue to kick for the Brick Dragons. As for this day, Anthony is where you'd expect him to be, settled in to watch Rutgers in their noon kickoff against Pittsburgh. He'll be playing particular attention to the kicking game, and that man, Nick Borghese, a redshirt freshman walk-on. Borghese will do well to equal how